elk away. And so let me see if I can turn this camera around to show you all what we set up here. So I brought out my Rodecaster uh, Pro so that we could get some discrete audio from the laptop over there. So the audio from the laptop runs all the way into, into this Rodecaster right here. And that allows us to hear the show that we're watching uh, through these headphones as well as ourselves. And we got uh, a interesting mic set up right here. Uh, so the Rode microphone goes straight into that Sony a7S III. And then this expensive doohickey right here goes into the Rode. And that's how we hear ourselves. And uh, yeah, we got discrete headphones. And then Sintel's got these dope ass uh, lights from Elgato. Uh, what were these called again? Do you remember? Uh, they are the, Aga the Elgato key lights. Yeah. Key light panels. Yeah, so he's got them attached to the desk. Like and by the way, Sintel's place doesn't normally look like this. <laughs> I took it apart. Uh, we, he's got these, uh, what are these blankets called again? Uh, these are just regular old furniture pads, but we're using the sound blankets. Uh, yeah. So do it yourself sound suppressing. It really works. To deaden the sound in this room. And these are, these are very effective because we were getting echo earlier and he nailed these to the wall. Uh, I, I promise his place normally looks prestigious, <laughs> pristine <laughs> and clean and like really nice. But we, we move things around to, to suit the needs of the show. Uh, we filled up these sandbags that he, he had from his uh, onset days. And uh, <laughs> you can see how this is all working out. We moved his printer that's normally right over there, over here to support the monitor setup so that <laughs> we get the camera uh, some distance because normally his camera is right here attached to the table like these lights right here and so yeah we we pulled that out i i, I like tucked it under here i don't know if y'all can see that uh, right there uh that normally he's got his camera on there but uh i wanted to have some distance between the camera and our faces so we didn't look so bulbous and uh, and then you, there you can see Sintel's microphone whenever he's live streaming with us but that's the basic setup if y'all got any questions you can hit us with it right now and oh the laptop so the macbook pros are so elegantly designed and horrible for sound <laughs> terrible for sound so what ends up ha oh i'm covering the camera a little bit so what ends up happening is anytime something intense is happening with the laptop like recording with obs or with um even just watching a show sometimes having that that, that computer open it, the fan will just kick on loud and it's really disruptive to the whole experience of shooting a reaction video because you're like oh my god i hear the fan noise how are people uh which camera he uses for recording what camera do you use for recording we can move into the light here oh yeah uh we just have to turn this light on to make it a little bit brighter you good oh this is good okay. this is good yeah uh that camera is uh that's that's jabby's camera right there the one that i use is a simpler uh t31 um from like way back in like 2009. yeah um, it's, it's so weird. Like if I go closer, I look at, like this angle. See how wide? <laughs> it's a wide angle camera, so it's like I look like fat jabs, skinny jabs, <laughs> fat jabs, oh, skinny it does. jabs. It does it to you too. Yeah. Look at that. That's Please weird. don't give me the fat head. That, 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 that's Sintel that. gained weight and then he lost weight. All that vegan <laughs> is helping him out. So yeah, look, I'm not that big. Okay, it's just just no. So uh, what was the what was the question? Again? Uh, the camera was. Uh, what camera are you using? Oh, I use the um, Sony A7S III, as you guys saw there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, amazing I don't know too. if y'all can see it. It did overheat on us uh, while shooting because it got really hot in this room. So uh, I can attest twice now to the Sony A7S III uh, overheating because it happened to me during a live stream as well during one of our twelve-hour or nine-hour live streams. Yeah. Uh, so that thing does overheat, but I think that this time it was my fault because the room was hot and we were recording with two cards at the same time. What equipment should I use? I have an iPhone 11. Hey man, if you're, it depends. What are you trying to do? You gotta ask. You gotta tell me what you're trying to do with it because iPhones go a long way. I mean, we're live streaming from an iPhone right now. Yeah. Are you gonna get a new camera anytime soon? If yes, which so, uh, for Sintel? Oh, yeah, that's funny. I was just asking Javi the same thing because I am going to be uh, looking for a camera like within the next year. And after checking out this, uh, what was it? This, the A7? A7S3. Yeah. yeah, the A7S3. This thing is amazing. Uh, the yeah. picture is crisp. Uh, it seems to meet all of my needs. And to be perfectly honest with you, it may be even a little overkill for, for my needs, yeah. but it's, fut it's future proof. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's a that's a dope camera. Um, the, I'm excited for the new Canon coming out. Canon's got the R3 dropping soon, 
And it's going to be actually closer to this camera mm -hmm. now that I've heard about some of the specs. It's 4K oversampled for those of you who are interested in it. Uh, and I don't know what it's oversampling from, if it's a 6K or an 8K sensor. I would imagine it's 6K. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like the Sony a6400 is a crop sensor camera oversampling from 6K. And so it's, it's a beautiful image. I was going to ask you about that regarding the, uh, the a6400 because that seems to be like a lot of uh, yeah, vloggers' sure. camera of choice. Uh, how do you feel about that? Like, is it, or is it just like a waste of money or should I wait like another year? Uh, I don't think the a6400 is the best camera. I'm trying to figure out where I can place this oh, damn thing. Oh, here you go. I got it. You got a thing? Oh, this oh, bad perfect. boy is perfect. You just gotta okay, right scroll here. it out and lift that bad boy up for a little bit. And... Oh, there we go. Hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> my, my mom called in the middle of my last live stream and it ruined everything. Uh, let me look like that. I apologize, you guys. I'm just sorting this out real quick. It's there we like go. A, a tripod on the fly. Uh, okay, so, so yeah, so so, what I, I, so I was thinking about the what, what is it the uh, the sixty four hundred a sixty four hundred yeah, so Achara has that camera and I do like it. Um, I don't know if it's the I hear best. Hear a button in your voice. I don't know if it's the best camera for vlogging because there's no IBIS. Okay. You can use. Uh, lenses that have uh, IS, image stabilizer, in it. Okay. But Sony doesn't actually make too many lenses that have image stabilizer anymore. I think for the crop sensor line, they do have lenses that have image stabilizer. I know that the 16 to 35 F4 okay. has image stabilizer. I believe the 10 to 18, which she has, has image stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Like, But the thing is, these lenses are often lower aperture, F4. Okay. If you're trying to go up to like f1.4, f1.6, or 1.8, or f2 even, right. like usually you're not getting that image stabilizer in it. It just depends on the lens. And so it's better to have a camera with IBIS in it, I personally feel. And the a6600 has IBIS, but there's rolling shutter issues. Okay. And so that's the next frontier is like, how do we reduce those rolling shutter issues? I personally wouldn't recommend the a6400 or the a6600 right now. I would wait okay. for the next whatever APS-C thing is that Sony's coming out with. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, like this is this to me is actually, it's a small enough camera that you could conceivably vlog with it, but it's heavier than Achara's A6400. Uh, I would get the A6400 if you're gonna get a gimbal of some kind. Okay. You know, a stabilizer gimbal, but then it's adding weight. Right. So then it kind of defeats the purpose, and right? And we did have like slight weight problems when we were doing the initial setup because the uh, the head that was on the top of the uh, the stand that I had attached to my desk, it couldn't manage the, the weight of the A600. Keep in mind that this the, was- The A7 Yeah, the A7 A7 III, III, yeah. excuse me. Uh, now keep in mind this was a very cheap stand. <laughs> So, um, but if you uh, did have that, then, you know. Video is out of sync. That is not my fault. That's just YouTube doing its thing, and I apologize for that. Maybe if you guys refresh your, your page that you're watching this through, it'll go back into sync. But we're just doing, the, we're, this is going off of Wi-Fi, so I have no control over the quality control. I apologize. It's okay now. What contact, what content does Sintel make? Uh, well, we're still breathing that out. Uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, uh, video content regarding, it's going to be trailers, television shows, movies as well. Um, there's also going to be uh, hopefully some additional content to go along uh, with Javi as well. Mm -hmm. It comes everything from just casual conversations to video games. We're going to find out what everybody likes and then focus on uh, what's getting the, the most traction. Right. I just realized, I forgot to tell you guys about these lights behind us. Okay. So those lights right there are uh, hair lights. So these lights in front of us are the fill. The basic principle of photography lighting is 2-1, right? So uh, basically you've got your key light, which is two times more powerful than your fill light. Uh, that rule we're not following to a T here. We're following it a little bit. That's the key, that's the fill. Uh, I'm getting more of the fill. Sintel's getting more of the key because his skin tone is a little tad, a little tad, bit darker. A tad darker than mine. But we both have hair lights, which is actually an interesting <laughs> struggle because you, you keep it shaved. And yeah. so uh, we had to like figure out what to do with the hair lights. And so, but like I've got it beaming down right on me just to give me some dimension from the background, some separation. And we also have a light up there that is hitting the background to just give everything separation. And it look, I think it works pretty well. Um, the, the stands are in the shot for our reactions. I don't care. I think most people don't give a shit, but I think it works. Uh, but we were talking a second ago about the Canon R3. I don't know if any of you guys are interested in that. But that's a, what, what is known so far is it has something called a stacked CMOS sensor. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it's important. And so it allows you to have something better. Uh, but, I, I, but I know that it's going to allow you to shoot 4K raw internal. 
4K raw internal. Now, the R5, which is next to Achara in the kitchen over there, mm -hmm. shoots 8K raw internal, but you max out at 15 minutes. There's no word yet about whether or not the camera has overheating issues, time limits of any kind. Right. So it could, there, there's something called the Canon Cripple Hammer okay. that is colloquially thrown around, the which is hammer. how does Canon cripple their camera? The, cri <laughs> the Cripple Hammer. And there's always something, there's always some kind of caveat. And yeah. so I don't think any of us got the notification for the stream, Javi, that's okay. Uh, they probably got messed up because I was trying to do one before and the, the YouTube wasn't letting me pick my, my picture that I wanted. Will Sintel pursue Bollywood reaction or Hollywood? Uh, uh, it'll probably pro be primarily Hollywood, but there's no way I'm gonna turn my back on Bollywood. There's just no way, it's too much good content. Yeah. So. Uh, any other questions here? Are you gonna get a new camera? We already answered that one. Uh, Drake, me, I need to know what you're talking about. What equipment should I should I use? Because I'm not really sure what your what contact to say. If you're first starting off, um, the first thing, if there's any piece of advice I'd get, uh, yeah. light lighting. I would invest in lighting. Yeah. Because uh, you can have a, a whole hum camera with amazing lighting, and, and it'll be decent. You can have the world's best camera in the world, and you got terrible lighting, and you're just wasting your money. Yeah, that's the thing about that. I think a lot of people don't realize is stuff like lights yeah. and sound might last you forever. You know, it's an, until that thing dies, it's useful as it was on day one hundred as it was on day one. Those things, like they don't go out of style because it's just, it just helps to make the scene work. Yeah. Um, you don't have to upgrade a camera all the time. I think if you have an iPhone 11, that can actually go a long way in terms of shooting, editing, uploading, reviewing, all that stuff. Uh, I mean, what's his name? Shot an entire movie on iPhone 11. There's a movie called Tangerine that was shot, on, not on iPhone 11, but on iPhone. Mm -hmm. There was a movie called Tangerine that was shot completely on iPhone. That's the Donald Glover one, right? I don't know, yeah, but I, I know it was shot on iPhone. Uh, how many monitors will still tell how many monitors will Sintel need as a beginner? One or two? Well, right now he's working with the one. Yeah. Uh, occasionally he has the laptop and the monitor going at the same right. time. But um, I think... I don't need you to don't. have the monitor. It's just It just makes it easier. Yeah. yeah. Javi Koi, why doesn't Patreon accept my cards for payment? I'm not sure. That's an Achara question. Sintel, your all-time favorite movies. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Never-ending story. Uh, yeah, wow, so I wasn't expecting that. Uh, yeah. That's probably my all-time favorite uh, Castaway, because of the story, is just something about uh, Tom Hanks being able to just live on an island all by himself and still be an intriguing character for entire. He carried an entire film. Mm. Uh, one of the first mainstream ones that blew my mind was, of course, the very first Matrix. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Dead Presidents is another one. Um, God, I saw that when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm an old head. <laughs> so I think those are four, and let me let me think about that fifth one for a second. Yeah. It's up in my head. You kind of caught me. Sintel, have you watched any Indian movies? He's, yeah, we've done reviews together yeah, on the channel. Absolutely. Uh, and you also did a review on your own for... Um, oh, oh, my gosh. Uh, Special 26. Yes, which was great. Um, I love that one. That one was fun. Uh, what's the name of the channel? His channel is youtube.com slash Sintel. Uh, Aditya Malik says his is Cinderella Man. That's a good movie. Ah, uh, it is. Uh, the way I, I I remember talking to Skeeter about that, and I was like, "Yo, man, this movie is two hours and thirty minutes, and I cried for two hours and twenty nine minutes." <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you just kept fighting, man. Yeah. Yo, yeah. I mean, great underdog, great underdog uh, film. Uh, under, uh b -b -b what's the name of the channel? So until I'll be watching you know, Whoa, Shaquille. Why doesn't it? Okay, I think I covered. Oh, who edits your videos? That's what I was trying. So we have a few editors. Um, well, this is myself, there's myself, there's Achara, there's my sister, who goes by the name Mary Black on Instagram, and there's Pratham, and who else is there? That's Those are the main editors right now, and we're actually expanding the team. Pratham is sourcing out some of the workload to his friends who he trusts. And so the team is getting bigger and bigger day by day. Um, hey, I just wanted to say this real quick, because it, it's coming from a space of truth. I've listened to, to Jappy's advice regarding gear for a very long time. And if you haven't known me um, as long as some, uh, I've also helped build like a nonprofit company that teaches kids filmmaking. And uh, the reason why that's important is, is that in order to teach these kids we have to have the necessary equipment so that they can put these visions to life mm -hmm. and it's been because of your advice that we were able to to find stuff that works that is affordable as as well so um when you told me that you were going to be making this this gear this gear channel i was like yeah that's that's the space you, you need to be yeah. working from because he'll get you up and running like real quick and give you the honest opinion of the equipment that you may be uh thinking on i'll say something to him he'll be like nah that's not the point <laughs> Let me tell you this. This yeah. is probably going to be a better option. So, How far are we from L.A. right now? Ooh, about 1,400 miles, I'd say. 1,400 miles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeff, smack dab in the middle of the country. 
Jabby Kuei, it's like Patreon totally neglects Indian audience. Uh, I don't think that's true at all. Patreon is almost exclusively for the Indian audience. Mm. That's patently false. Like everything we put out there is mostly for India. And we're shooting content that's actually going to be every day that I've been here, Sintel and I have actually been shooting content that's going to be benefiting the Indian audience primarily on the Patreon. And so that's a weird thing to call out. Achara is thinking about that every single day. She's dealing with like what she can handle for a Patreon and whatnot. Like it's not even that often we do stuff that is not for the Indian audience mm. because like we'll do Falcon and the Winter Soldier or whatever American show. And sometimes that gets uploaded to the Patreon because like the watch alongs and stuff, we can't show everything. Like, we run into copyright issues. And so that gets uploaded to Patreon instead. But as far as I can tell, like 90% of it or more is for Patreon. Javi, did you watch Pursuit of Happiness? I did watch Pursuit of Happiness. What'd you think? Um, I cried. <laughs> I was frustrated at the end okay. because he, it's like the whole movie was this big, long struggle. And then at the moment we get this, this glimpse of victory, the movie cuts out and ends. And I'm like, where's my epilogue of his success? You know, it was so frustrating. I want, I just wanted something a little bit more gratifying for that, like, third act of closure. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can see that. Because it's like the moment he walks out of the test and he's like, yes, credits. Yeah. I'm like, what? That no. slow shake with the teardrop gets me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Jabby, I want to be a patron, a patron, but I it just doesn't accept my credit card for some reason. Well, keep a, a look out. We're probably going to do um, YouTube memberships at some point if Patreon's not uh, working for you. You might be saying this Patreon thing uh, because of the use of debit card and unable to get Patreon benefit. I'm trying for three years. Yeah, so I mean, I don't, I don't know how Patreon is a Char's specialty, and um, well, this is Gear Bandit. We're not talking about Patreon right now, but we can, you know, revisit this conversation the next time we do a live stream on uh, Jabby Live. How to join your team? I've worked with good YouTubers in India. I want to work with you as I'm watching you. I don't know what you do, Mayank, but uh, shoot Achara a uh, a tweet or an Instagram. I'd say do both. Shoot her a tweet at Achara Kirk. Shoot her an Instagram message at Achara Kirk, so she has a better chance of seeing it and it will ideally pop in her, uh, pop up in her notifications. You can also do a third step and tweet me at GetJabby because I don't get as many messages there. Jabby, do you watch The Walking Dead? Who's your favorite character? Mine is Daryl and Rick. Uh, I personally jump, jumped ship at <laughs> season five. Read the comic. Yeah. Uh, you know what's interesting? I don't want to get lost in the weeds on this, right. but the comic is fundamentally different from the show. Yes, it's, yes. They, there's humor in the comic. Yes, there's humor in the and comic. And I was like, different characters. Yeah, I was like, this is totally different from the show. Yes. Um, and I was actually enjoying the comic more than the show. Yes. But it's all black and white. Yes. And I just I couldn't stay with it because of, it, of a very dry color palette. I can understand. You know that. what I'm but saying? It's a good choice. I mean, Robert Kirkman, who is the is the writer of that, he wanted to make a zombie apocalypse dark, and comics yeah. are just way too bright and fun. Uh, so I think that's why he took that choice. I'm just not into that show, man. <laughs> I, I tried so hard to like it, and I was just, I was mad from day. One yeah. and I kept. Oh, there's the food. Oh, there's the food. Yeah. <laughs> Chara, can you get that? Okay, she's gonna get it. So yeah, I, I I couldn't get into the show. Tom Hanks or Will Smith? For me personally, I would rather watch at this point Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith always makes me cry if he's crying. I don't know what it is about him. And Will Smith, like, the thing about it is Tom Hanks to me is way more versatile. Yes. But <laughs> there's something about Will Smith, like, he, he, it's so there's it's almost like he's a friend because mm -hmm. he's always playing himself. Yeah. And so when he gets emotional, I get emotional. Right. I, it can't be helped. I remember watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. There's this episode where he's in bed mm -hmm. in, in hospital because he got shot. Mm -hmm. And Carlton shows up with a gun. He wants to go after the guy that. that hurt Will Smith. Mm -hmm. And he's like, give me that gun. I was just thinking about it, it makes me cry. And he hits this one teardrop going down his eye. And, he's like, and he covers himself. I'm like, God damn it. I'm all hurting for <laughs> Will Smith right now. And you that know? is why Will Smith has his star powers. Yeah, because exactly. of that, he's got that draw. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Jabby, are you a fan of the original MacGyver? I haven't watched it, to be honest with you. Oh, it does not hold up anymore. Uh, <laughs> thoughts of Army of the Dead, in one word? Uh, disappointing. Really? Yeah. Okay, I haven't watched it yet, so now I'll keep my, I'll, I'll temper my expectations. Uh, have you have you seen Zack Snyder's first one, uh, Day of the Dead? No. Day of the Dead is better. Okay. Uh, this is Narasimha SB says Nikon, Canon, or or Sony. Who has better budget options for video shooting cameras? Um, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to do mirrorless, I would. Both of them have budget options because the Canon has the M50 and the M6 Mark II and a whole bunch of other cameras within that family. However. Hi, you okay. guys! Look who popped up. <laughs> However, um, the, the thing about it is we don't know if the M mount is going to sustain, if it's going to stay around. Whereas what Sony did, which is really smart, 
is their lenses work across all their cameras. Even their APS-C sensor lenses will work on the full frame cameras, okay. which is really, really smart. So they, they, they designed a very intelligent mount from the get-go. Uh, and so the A6400 was relatively cheap. However, the M50 and the M6 Mark II, I think, is cheaper than the A6400. Now, when you're talking about relatively cheap, can you give them a price point? So Under a thousand. Have an, okay. Under a thousand bucks. Right. I, I think, if I haven't, I don't remember exactly how much the M6 Mark II costs, mm -hmm. but I remember the M50 costs under a grand now. So the buy-in is actually much cheaper. However, I think the A6400 is a way better camera than the M50. Okay. But if like budget is what you're worried about, mm -hmm. just use a phone. Don't worry about getting one of those cameras yet, you know, because like I'd rather you save up to get a more slightly premium camera mm -hmm. than settle for like the M50, because I personally don't recommend buying the M50 unless you have to, because you don't have an option. Um, the one nice thing about the M50 is you can get something called, and I've talked about this before, you can get a um, an adapter by Metabones, which is called a speed booster. Okay. So if you have a full frame lens on the M50, it'll make it so that it's almost full frame. Okay. Because with the speed booster, it gives you more uh, closer image to full frame okay. than you would get otherwise just adapting it directly with a Canon adapter. Okay. Speed boosters are the bomb. I love speed boosters, um, use, using them on a APS-C sensor. There's, it almost looks nicer than just going full frame. Okay, so for those of us who may not know what full frame means, why is that important? Uh, you get better color, better resolution, better you know depth of field. Depth of field is the big thing, mm -hmm. but I think in general you just get better information. Like uh, if you there's something above full frame called medium format, okay. and if you shoot with that, like the details are just so much more crisp and mm -hmm. fine. It's just beautiful to look at. Mm -hmm. The chef's kiss, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but like you can get close to it, and, and, and you get an interesting look if you use a speed booster. Okay. If you don't, if you guys don't know what that is, you should check it out for sure. The M50 or the M6 Mark II with a speed booster using full frame Canon lenses is beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's see. Army of the Dead has flaws, but as they are trying to set up cinematic universe, it might turn out to be a better universe. Also, after a movie, don't forget to watch the pitch meeting. I will. Okay. Uh, I was in luck because my sister gave me her four-year-old Nikon D5, D5300. Mm -hmm. Not a mirrorless. Does the job for me now, uh, but would upgrade once I get enough money. That's a, I mean, yo, if it's working, <laughs> that's what matters. As long as it's working. Don't, <laughs> don't do what I do and upgrade once a year. <laughs> if it's working, stick with it. Um, let me see. I missed some questions here. <laughs> Hey, Gear Bandit, thanks to Bon John Dutt for hanging out. Sintel, do you like Breaking Bad? Oh, absolutely. It's probably, it's definitely in my top five of greatest uh, series of all time. Uh, what you guys like other than movies? I know uh, you guys like martial arts. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty big comic book reader. I'm a comic book buff, uh, TV series. You're a gamer. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a gamer. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, just sitting down having, uh, philosophical thoughts and conversations with good friends. Yeah, I mean, I love, I love podcasting. I love conversation. I love, I love cerebral talk and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I love video games. Um, when my shoulder is not wrecked. I love gymnastics, which is, I guess, parallel to martial arts. And then again, parallel to that is I actually enjoy ballet. Uh, I haven't done it in a long time uh, because of pandemic and all that, but I, I thoroughly enjoy ballet. I enjoy what I can get out of dance. At one point, I was studying capoeira, mm. and that's a form of dance martial arts. I really mm. enjoy that. Like physical stuff, I just I love weightlifting and stuff like that. I'm very into physical activities. I'm not that you can tell, but like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you guys seen the movie The Secret Life of Walter Mitty? I, okay, so that's kind of like a guy who finds himself on this journey, right? Mm -hmm. um, I have not seen it. Is it like a Forrest Gump kind of feel kind of thing? Like he just goes I out into the know. world. Um, Mitty's it's like world magical. is like trash. And then he's like, yo, I'm about to just go climb the Himalayas or something like that. I never saw it. Oh, it's I never saw it. in front of it. But no, You'd... long story short, no, I haven't seen it. But I hear it's good. What's his name again? He was from Meet the Meet the Fockers. Yeah, um, his dad just passed. Um, uh, ben, ben, ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. Yeah, yeah Ben Stiller. Let's see. We got uh, I. Uh, Narasama SB says, I have a setup inspired by you, but just cheaper gear. Hit 100 subs this week. Oh, congrats, man. Yes. That's excellent. That's a milestone. Yes, it is. Uh, I thank you for Love Zindagi. That's where the advice helped me to do what I want. That's, ex that's excellent, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm really glad to hear you're taking those steps. Don't beat yourself up when things aren't going exactly as planned. You know, that's gonna, you're going to have hiccups. You're going to have bumps in the road, but just keep moving forward. What workout split do you follow? Um, mine's basic. It's um, <clears throat> legs and shoulders together. Chest and triceps together, back and biceps together, generally speaking. And I just try to work in abs every, with every single set, you know. I try to work in shoulders even more because my shoulders are wrecked. I got a rotary cuff issue going on right now. Um, let's see, Jeff, what workout, uh, what workout do you follow? What 
What about Better Call Saul? Do you have you seen Better Call Saul? Uh, I have not seen it. I'm, I'm still waiting for that. I don't know. I, I just have a reservation about Better Call Saul because Breaking Bad was so amazing. I slipped around and watched El Camino, felt a little disappointed. So it made me pause yeah. on uh, Better Call Saul. Better but Call I will Saul. get it in. Better Call Saul starts out slow, mm -hmm. but it, 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 it progressively gets better and better. I think it's a dope show. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's different yeah. because it's not dealing with the same characters mm -hmm. um, completely, but... I do like it. It's, it's worth watching. I think you'd enjoy it. I, th I think you'd get into it. Especially considering that you were super into like the pacing of um, Narcos season two. I'm like, I'm waiting for the boys review. Me too. Like, I really want to do the boys. Um, that sounds weird out of context. I really, I, 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 I really want to do that reaction series with Achara. I think it'd be a, a lot of good fun. Uh, I liked Old Clint Eastwood more, like Million Dollar Baby. Uh, Curveball also, have you seen? First off, Old Clint Eastwood. Million Dollar Baby is not old Clint Eastwood. Big Bad and the Ugly is old yeah, Clint Eastwood. Exactly. You know, a fistful of, a fistful of dollars is old Clint Eastwood. Unforgiven is still... Yeah, that's exactly. not That's not, that's not old yeah. school either, but it's, it's still on the cusp really, of, yeah. it's a really good Clint film, though. That's his bridge out of, you know, the old Western yeah. films. I wanted to watch Money Heist, but instead I watched Ozark. Uh, best decision. I, I mean, I have, Money Heist good. is supposed to be good as well, though. I love... Did you Did you like Ozark? Ozark is great. I haven't finished it. I watched season one and two. I've Me and Courtney it. disagreed completely about Ozark. She hated it, yeah. She... We'll get into that. Okay. We'll get into that. Uh, let's see. I think we're all caught up on the questions. That's Yeah, we're caught up there. And then the bottom of the question list. Um, yeah. Did Sintel like Shape of... So, oh, someone asked earlier if I liked Whiplash and why. Whiplash is my all-time favorite film. And the reason why is because, to me, it's the perfect analogy for life. Mm -hmm. Because of Miles Teller going up against J.K. Simmons. Mm -hmm. And he is the embodiment of life's struggles when you're trying to do you yeah. at the best, you know, at, completely through and through without reservation. Mm -hmm. Also, it talks about sacrifice mm -hmm. in a very, very strong way. That passion, I understand, like to the point that your hands are bleeding. Like I get that passion. Uh, I can relate to it. And just the, the twists and turns in that film for a movie about being at a music conservatory yeah. is Pretty impressive. Like, I could never expect where that, uh, you know, I could never predict where that film was going to go. It's pretty intense to be uh, to be a, a show about music. Um, yeah. yeah, for like a band. It just, it, yeah, it's intense. <laughs> so, do you watch Shape of Water? Have not. I'm glad you didn't miss anything, dude. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, anyway, we got to eat. So I apologize, Hashikushi. Uh, Sintel, what's your favorite? He already said his favorite movie, so if you want to back up, you can yeah. you can see yeah, his like favorite films. So, yeah, we're going to eat right now. So sorry, you guys. We're going to cut out now. Thanks so much for yes. being here. Really appreciate it. And look forward to the next episode of Gear Bandit coming out next week.